say opening microphones that's that's not your cue to tap the microphone nobody, who's tapping the microphone nobody tapped the microphone somebody tapped the microphone oh relax have a coke and a smile hello everyone welcome to simply second edition coke and a smile with cory Shazon here <laughs> Uh, oh, there I am. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Twitch.tv, the GM's Cut. Tonight, we are playing Simply Second Edition, the podcast for your listening pleasure, where we do one-shots, testing out the Pathfinder Second Edition rule set and more. We might get into First Edition splat books like Pierce Team. We might move into the future in Starfinder. You never know what's going to happen on a Sunday night. But for right now, we are part four with Jared's World, the world of Rutran. Jared, Mercer, good, any relation good evening. To, a, to a certain Mercer that uh, streams on uh, Thursday night? No. Oh. I'll keep, I'll keep no. asking until you make yourself related. I don't have somebody's adopted grandmother make things happen. It would, it would really help us. I'm just saying it could boost some ratings. I am your host this evening, GM Jeff, but I'm not the GM. Tonight, GM Jared is going to give us a taste, continuing running around his isolated, mythically apocalypticized very interesting world. We're having a good time, aren't we, guys? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Our one American is putting these Canadians through the ropes. So in the house tonight, we have our resident rules lawyer and now gets to be a player, Mr. Joe Gibson. Hello, hello. And who are you playing tonight? Tonight, I am playing Auk, Festering Tooth Wayfinder. A goblin crusader. Ooh. Or sorry, a goblin champion of Saren Ray. A few weeks back, a few months back, I asked the internet, I asked Twitter, what should I play? And we got a gnome alchemist. So carrying, converting this character into a gnomish half-human for Jarrett's world of all his interesting bloodlines, I'm still playing Dr. Quek, the alchemist. And everybody goes with bombers and blowing stuff up, so I wanted to go with something that no one ever sees, so I picked the Churgeon. And so far, my blowgun antics are slow and pretty much useless, but I, I blame the internet. <laughs> Um, on the next camera, we're trying something different. We actually have three people in the studio, so I'm on camera A, and on camera B, we have my old high school chum, Corey Shazon, is in the house tonight. Hey, everybody. And who are you playing today, sir? I am playing Mefert. He is a half-elf, and rather keeps to himself somewhat mysterious, always hooded in a dark cloak. And what bloodline are you rocking? Ah, oh, that is a good question. You're a half-elf, aren't you? Yes, half-elf. There we go. And last but not least... My lovely wife, Dicewise Entertainment's executive producer, Cheryl Ball's in the house tonight. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm playing Danny Moonshadow, and I'm very sneaky. You're very sneaky? You're yeah. the half-elven rogue of the party? Yes, half-elf. So I'm playing the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Al Alchemist, which makes birds sing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just... I'm playing the, the, so you're Snow White? The, the Gnomish Christ, I guess. <laughs> we have... Um, Corey, what are you playing tonight? What's that? I, class? I'm not sure exactly what that is. My phone has decided to have a mind of its own. <laughs> My apologies. I will... It, it's lovely music. I'm not quite sure where that came from. I really don't know. You really don't know. All right. Moving on. <laughs> so... <laughs> A your phone. <laughs> <laughs> slight delay. We are hopefully showcasing Jarrett's world for his company of the future of Pen and Dragon games. And you are seeing a very hastily put together logo by myself, a very awesome Hetzer Grenwell map. And we've got our core rule book. Thanks to Fantasy Grounds. Tonight's game is sponsored by Fantasy Grounds, the tabletop RPG virtual interface that you could buy on Steam or directly on the internet. That's Fantasy Grounds for all your virtual tabletop needs. Jared? Good evening. So, the end of last week, we ran into some altered elemental squirrels. And the party did decently um they survived uh the star player was definitely not our alchemist um not our half elf but again it was our our goblin our our goblin i think had all three kills 
Woohoo! So Joe, you are the man. <laughs> I helped a little. Yeah, you did. You you finally got one shot off, and the poison did take effect. So that is true. Um, and then the children, you guys I took the hypocritical oath, trying not to kill people and squirrels. Squirrels and people. Okay, I'll remember that next time. Uh, encounter preview for later dates. Squirrels and people. Um, well, I did say so, try not to guarantee anything. Off of this, one of the things I'm trying to do in my world is actually make the kills meaningful when it comes to certain animals and stuff. And you guys managed to harvest some skins off of these squirrels that you found out if properly treated and you have enough downtime, you can turn into some decent either leather or studded leather armor that would be the equivalency of a plus one magical um from there we're back i guess in the saddle we're at the end of the night the fighting has happened you've managed to have a 10 minute rest or a full evening rest so uh i believe the only person who needs some health is mefrit because he had his jugular bitten out by a yes, angry and it, squirrel and it hurt a lot so with that, I believe you get your con modifier worth of health after a full night's rest. Or is it con modifier plus one because you're level one? Do you know, Joe, off the top of your head? Yes, it's your con plus your level. Okay, so it is con plus your level. So those of you who are down health, uh, you've had a full night's rest and you can do that. And if any of you are still hurting, you can uh, definitely... I guess ask our your illustrious Dr. Quack if he's got anything that can help you and not hopefully harm you. I can perform medical miracles or medical checks, I suppose they'd be called. Um, let's see here. Okay. Who do? appears to be the I most wounded? Hmm. Mm hmm. That would mm. probably be Meford. But I, I clicked on this and it's. Gonna yes, Meford. Sit still, will you? This won't hurt a bit. Listen, little guy. Six. Oop, it, it hurts a lot. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Ow! I'm sorry, I can't help you for another hour. Next. Um, Just <laughs> as a curiosity, because skills do have a critical fail thresh th threshold now um does a does that equal your your threshold for uh accidentally harming instead of hurting you know by chance off the top of your head there mr jeff i'm mr. not Dr. Clark? So, I'll, I'll let joe decide your fate wouldn't I... that have come up in the in the in the in the box if it was a critical it doesn't it, since i didn't put in what a dc would be against oh, okay um it has nothing to go against uh, okay. let's see well, I didn't As miss I'm... it by 10, because 6, if I got 5, because it's 15, I believe is your, uh, where are we here? Yeah. Yes, 15. Medicine is 15, right? So it would have been 5 or lower. So with a 6, no failed crit, I hope? No. No. Nope. Uh, there we go. Close. Critical failure. Your efforts cause the creature to take a negative 2 circumstance <laughs> penalty to its next save against the disease. Oh, that's treating disease. Critical failure. If you're trying to stabilize, the creature's dying value increases by 1. If you're trying to stop bleeding, it immediately takes the amount of damage equal to its persistent bleed damage. <laughs> Things we've got to look forward to. <laughs> I have longer legs than you. You better well, run. Yeah, but only if it's persistent bleed. Yeah. So unless you're taking like a persistent bleed, I guess there's no harm in trying. Um. Because you're not doing treat wounds, right? You didn't take because that's the one that you would have to worry about is if you were trying to treat wounds there's a critical a failure on that the target a, takes 1d8 damage there's a stabilize attempt there's a stop bleeding attempt there's treating disease treating poison oh treating wounds sorry i didn't get to that part yet <laughs> right 10 minutes blah 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 and nah, 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 nah. critical failure oh 1d8 what do you know missed it by one but still <laughs> right but for, for later 
for later uh, <laughs> usage. We you now don't actually fully rely on clerics and their healing ability. Uh, a person trained in medicine can be extremely useful uh, throughout the game because that's something you can do multiple times a day, and it doesn't really use any resources. Yes, and sir. it actually sure. is a really good amount of health. It's 2d8 on a success, and if you critically succeed, it's 4d8. So that's going to bring anybody at level like 1 through 3 up to almost full health. Yep, and I can't try again for an hour. But I get to start the hour, because it takes 10 minutes, at the 50-minute mark. So on to the next sucker, Oak. I'm fine. Okay. Well, yeah, hey, don't touch me. <laughs> How about you, little lady? Uh, I think I'll be all right, Cub. You okay? I, I'm going to examine her anyway. Uh, hey. I... <laughs> oh, 21. Oh, 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 oh. Put those away in the shop. If you want it, I got hit points for you. Can I have them? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not like I gave her a Cosby cocktail. I just was trying to be helpful. Fine. Don't take it. You're going to have to wait a while. How about unless, I just... Unless the DM wants to magically go 50 minutes and then I'll just re -roll. No, I don't know about that. I'm not sure that I trust you. You I gotta, stabbed I, me with whatever it was and it hurt. I got a <laughs> dice with your name on it. It's hovering. You want it or not? Ah. So I'm guessing you guys clean up your camp. Are you like just throwing everything back in your armored wagon or are you actually like making yeah, it look like you weren't here? Got to burn 50 minutes. Uh, let's make it like we're not here. <laughs> 11. Sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> Suffer in silence. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Who hired him? Suppose you should invest in better health care. How about I just do it myself? You can. Well, you like, can. I think that's what we're going to do here. Well, I you think... know, if you'd hold still and help me and gave me an eight another check, by chances, our chances would have gone up. But, oh, no, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. How about I just cast a healing spell on myself? That works. You have magic? I do have some. So how about we just do that? And how about you we just... You wasted two hours of my time. Do and this. you could have gone all twinkle and toes. That. I got a seven. <sighs> but my time was never get back. I'm still charging you. Send the bill to somebody else. We'll put it on Johnny tab. <laughs> so that's going to bring you up to full health, I believe. Yes, I believe it will. It will. Yay. You're on the Johnny tab. All right. So you guys are going to clean up, and I believe someone said they were going to try to make it look like they weren't here. So I want a survival check. Who what? <laughs> From those of you who are attempting to make it look like you haven't uh, hurt nature, or a, yes, we try to not a stealth check, whatever's high higher for you. I got a twenty-one. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. <clears throat> You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Don't touch me, or I'll bonk you over the head with my staff. Example A of good rolling. <laughs> <laughs> promises. So, promises. <laughs> You guys are moving out. You know you're going to be within the foreman's camp within the, the day. Um, after you've run into some very nasty squirrels, are you guys going to go at the same speed, or are you going to go a little slower and keep yourselves a little bit more alert? What's the game plan here for the next four hours? On the road. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again oh, i won't sing we'll lose viewers <laughs> uh what's know, the plan the, the same pace that we were going at i guess same pace yeah. works for me i'm going to perch on top of the uh on top of the wagon and i'm going to meditate Ah, uh, you're going to do your setup for the morning so you get all your spells and junk back absolutely Oh. I think it's time Very to good. change some water filters, baby. But we have water how about filters you? on this caravan. <laughs> Ock, are you doing anything on the on this here trip? Are you got any plans? Uh I need to do my daily prep. 
<laughs> so I guess I'll have to hop in the back and do my press. <laughs> All right. Lady Danny, how about you? You uh, pickpocketing everybody in sight? <laughs> no. No, I already know what they all have. I no, saw they're... them buy all their stuff. <laughs> we want to know what she's got. You don't get to. Not yet. You just wait. All right. So as you crest a hill, you can see down into the lowest portion of the valley onto your what's going to be the exit. You can definitely see down into the camp. Um, a bunch of tents are set up. You see a wagon, but the one thing that you don't see, perception check. <laughs> or, or do you see? Yeah, <laughs> the one thing you don't see. 19. People? Twenty-three. Sixteen. Okay. So, yes. The first thing that you do really do notice is the camp is empty. Dr. Quack, you're Eight. wondering what the <laughs> hell that plant over there is and what you can use it for. I you think if that I it might be my... a miracle drug. For aging and to, to deal with those on, wrinkles under your eyes. I uh, stopped the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle drug. No, I am no longer a guinea pig. No guinea pigs? <laughs> Somebody else can do the next one. So, Wait. as you're looking down, <laughs> um, aloe vera, Danny. You, you all throw it hard, too. <laughs> That's what the yes, You answer. notice, Danny notices yep. that there is uh so a little bit of smoke coming out of the campfire, but not enough that it has been set any time within the day. Probably so it's something. Dying down. Yes, something within the past, probably night or so. Um, barely any smoke. Uh, there is definitely something up in the northeast part of the camp you're not really sure what it is but it stands out to you okay. it's not a tent it's not a wagon uh it's not something that it's it, it doesn't look like it belongs to you but it's you can't bird. identify it from from the distance now okay uh everybody except dr quack realizes the camp is empty um dr quack what do you think is actually happening down at the camp since you know that yeah, it's definitely it's something down there first of all but it's quack. not empty not quack <laughs> You want to hold my hand? No. Oh, and uh, hey, the monk's getting fresh with my wife over there. I mean, I am not married to you, sir. <laughs> uh, you're in my mind. <laughs> I've already got the waifu pillow and everything. It's gonna get stitched up a flower sack, painted her image on with crayon. <laughs> Anything I want in a mattress. Shoot. So, um, you're just... I I'm just... You lost my headphones. Reapy. Uh, I like to uh, cast the detect magic spell. Okay. Um, sorry, did we need a map up? That would help. Which like, which map battle? do you want? I'm asking which one do you want for the people to see? I have a map of your okay. world, the continent. I just don't. Did you want the battle map back up? Like this the battle map is. I'll I. I will send it up. It, it's all, lovely and quiet and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. I've got to find the button. Sharing is caring. There we go. <laughs> we need some intermission no, music to go with this oxen do, pulling do, a do. wagon noise. Yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, shout out to Coop, no, as no, always, shit. Gamma Knight since 1996, always haunting our chat and live stream and always entertaining the masses, and we appreciate <laughs> him always showing up to catch our streams everyone say hi coop hi coop hello Cooper. hey coop <laughs> and give give it the delay of 30 seconds and he'll respond <laughs> <laughs> okay Ooh. little arrow there we go oh look at that okay oh well, there we go finally loaded <laughs> oh okay so pull down oh look at that arrow how do we resize it? 
Thank you very much. Fancy. You're welcome. Um, bottom corner, you can drag and nope. increase. Nope. All I have is map and dice because you've overshadowed something. Yes. So pull down from the corner. Oh, oh okay. And I got, hit the I got arrow. You. Sorry, I didn't realize. And it'll fit. I didn't realize. I just did I could... that with, with Corey. <laughs> I, I just thought it was just like, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Hoi. So on the left side of the map is where you're coming from. So are you guys, you know, what do you want to do? No. Okay. Mifred and I are going to go check out the weird thing that doesn't belong here. So what, you two like dating now or what? Shh. Hmm. I think you have to pull us onto the map. Yeah, I, I just remembered that. Um, good call. Good call. Don't forget my detect magic spell. Are the people here? Is this crowd? Why can't you jump all? What would you like for ambience, sir? What are we walking into? Um, you're walking into something. Right. Battle music ready. Nice try, though. Nice try. That was that was a good. What are we walking into? That's a uh, no. I meant like you know, like a forest, a mountain ridge. He doesn't I have... need to tell yeah, you. Yeah, it's you have it's, no it's idea a valley what's with on. with I'm camping music. Like How about some camping music? Thank you. Camping music. We've stopped the wagon, like, so I'm going to kill the oxen. Music. Is it, I'm doing like coming around well, the mountain yeah. camping music. Kumbaya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some banjo music. Down there. Dueling banjos. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got a real pretty smile. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. How about this? Okay, so yeah. Um... How am I? Where's my mini? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually figure out this can you guys hear that? Yeah. how do you clear the combat tracker for those of us who don't remember how to do that do you know by chance jeff uh right click delete skull skull right click it just go through the dudes that's what i do rob had a way but i didn't see it on my thing okay just have to do this the hard way then all right i, th I was hoping that there was a easy after it I'm sure. Next time, Crickets. we will have shortcuts figured out. It's not nighttime. Uh, I think you'd have crickets during the day. We do at my house. Thank you. Well, literally, we have make a bin make, of crickets. It makes it sound nice and sunny out. In your <laughs> world. <laughs> it's a nice and starlit sky, yeah. Oh. Okay, the birds are make it better. There you go. Thank you. Chirpy, they, chirpy. They ate the crit crickets. There you go. Hold on. Okay, now that I've got that figured out, let's pull everybody onto the map. So there you go. It's actually pretty close. Ankh, you might need some face cream. <laughs> I might need some face cream. <laughs> so green stuff going on. You know where the ten you know, from your bird's eyes perspective from earlier before coming down into the camp, you kind of have a really good idea of where everything is. So. There's that for you. For right now, we're going to say that we are in open season, so I'm not going to worry about initiative. You let me know where you want to go, move your characters, and we'll go round robin. And let's just start with Danny, since you're the one with the highest perception check. Sure, hold on. I just want to know where I am. Uh, you are... Oh, I see it. Okay. Good. Okay, so... Startle them. 
That's the beginning of combat. At the end of the combat, we get to... <laughs> Do you want to go a little bit higher or a little bit lower? You're sitting in between both lines. You should be able to move half a step up or down. Oh, I see. Is that better? Uh, can you kill the direction indicators? They're, they're really harsh on this map. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. There you go. I'll just move you there. Direction indicators. Oh, there. Okay, sorry, I had to zoom in so I could see better. Yeah, the, um, something I'll have to make note of next time. Um, So after that, let's go with, uh, are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to stay stealthy? Uh, I'm just, I'm keeping my eyes open for either bodies, live people, bad guys. <laughs> Squirrels. Squirrels. They're, they're very dangerous. Just saying. Oh, that's better. Oh, I can make myself spin. Wee. All right, well, let me. I need a roll for that stuff then. Okay. You got it. I see nothing. <laughs> You're wondering why these plants are still blooming. It's very odd. All right, so from there, let's, yeah, let's go with, um, nothing has, has piqued your your senses yet. Okay. Um, so we will go with, mm, Mefford, what do you want to do? We're going over here, and we're going to cast the Detect Magic while having a look around to see what's going on. All, All right. right. That didn't work very well, no, did it? Oh, look at that. 25 for perception. And, uh, All right. So. Detect magic. Gotcha. You've got a big, big area of magic of multiple types coming from the northeast corner of the map the shadowed area there's definitely magic coming from there um and your perception has picked up around the campfire area where the hatchet into the log is um it looks like there was a lot of people throwing dishes around and kind of like getting ready for something but besides that you're not seeing anybody you see a few tents that their flaps are open, but nothing out of the ordinary. And then the, the, the breeze shifts. And that very, very light scent of iron and death hits you in the face. Hmm. Hmm. Almost like rotting meat. Almost our actual rotting meat. That would be the closest thing that you that you without actually like looking at what you're looking at. Rotting meat would be your, the closest thing that you're picking up. Mifford, that is what your nose is telling you, at least. Obviously, there are mutant murder plants we should attack. Do any good for me to do a lore check? Oh, uh, you can do a lore check. Sure, let's see what happens. 13. After your run-in with the carnivorous squirrels of stone, um, you're starting to second-guess what you you're actually know is out here. Um, because according to all rumors, legends, and lore, the last dangerous beast was killed over 100 years ago in the uh, valley. So... The fact that you ran into the squirrels has got you a little bit on edge. And now this smell? Hmm. Something's not adding up. Do I have room for a nature check, too? Uh, I'll allow that one if it's not look if you're not looking for something too detailed. 
Not gonna matter, it's a seven. Um, through all of your knowledge and skills and just druidic power, you're like, this is a giant predator. We gotta worry, we need a giant predator. You know it's a giant predator. Just without a doubt, one giant pissed off predator. I think You're convinced going, it's a predator. I'm going to inform my companions. Hey, gay gang, we got something big here. Bigums? Bigums. All right. Um. Let's go with Q. Battle music. Ock. All right, I will draw my sword. <laughs> Seeing that we have something big coming, and I will move. Now, can I just do one stride, two strides? You can do as many strides as you want for right now. Let's to your maximum of three strides. Let's okay. say um, without any real penalties. You're not in combat. Like I said, we're just doing round robin of what are okay. you doing. How are you treating this? There you go. And I will look. Better view. Instead of trying to peer through a bush or a tree, whatever that is. <laughs> I will take a look. What do I see? Since I'm a little closer. Natural 20 for 23. Let's see. All right. Again, um, you're, you have something right around let's get here something's caught your eye in front of this here tent that i sort of circled i'm not sure if you can see that um because it's not a very yep. big marker yep. i see it i see it now all right i can actually use a pointer this would actually be easier probably yep i see it okay so there aha all right. Yes. I found treasure. So there's a leg sticking out of the tent flap there. Oh. Um, single leg. All you're seeing is basically like all you can eat. Toast. The tent flap. The then the like the knee, the foot. It's just like sitting there. Extra crispy original recipe. Looks. <laughs> fine like he like i said you're that the thing that's just weird is it's one foot yeah it's missing it's, it's a leg and a foot it's <laughs> you know missing the rest of it all right dr quack 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 quick quick wow <laughs> see, see it's it's annoying when you don't pronounce your name correct isn't it <laughs> I wouldn't know. I always pronounce my own name perfectly. Thank you. I beg to differ, sir. <laughs> hey, He's untrained in quiet, common. Quiet it's okay. Over there. You're going to blow your stealth. What, uh, what, uh, what, what's in the barrel in the... Uh, my last perception in the, was in, a 14. In, in, in the, ca in the uh, caravan? What's in the barrel? Good stuff. Not stuff yeah. for you. Stuff for Joe. <laughs> See when Jeff drinks or when uh, Doctor Spock there, I mean Doctor Quack drinks that, he gets all weird. Is there like a penalty? You know how like masterwork tools give you a bonus or like a healing kit? Is there like some rusty spoon I can just go to town with him on his next medical exam? Is this gets a penalty? <laughs> if you oh, really sorry. want to, you'll probably I'm take sorry. like a minus six. Sorry. Anyway, uh, perception fourteen. <laughs> I pre-rolled. Sorry, unless I can, you want me to re-roll. But when you're asking for perception from Danny, I just kind of. Oh, um, that's up there. to you. Do you want to re-roll that, or do you want to? Stick no, I'll, with I'll it? go off with this, and uh, you know, head on up. What are we doing? One, two, <laughs> 15, 20, 25, uh, five, ten. Yeah, let's come up to the bush. Nice All right. bush. Hmm. Again, um, like you said, it's empty. You're seeing a little bit more detail. You're not picking up the finer details that uh, I don't know. Why would you guys just stand against the bush? Um, <laughs> I have to use the bush. It's <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. 
Like to my left. Hey, what's up? Look to your other left. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. You? Sorry, uh, Jared. Yeah, no problem. Whoa. What happened? I'm here? huge. He unlocked the sizing of <laughs> oh, the minis. Yay, we win. It looks like it's going to rediscover every screw up I did Friday night like six weeks ago when we started Age of Ashes. Yeah. So, yeah, no, you don't see anything. <laughs> Even at this height? Yes. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> well, not bigger. Okay, that's not fair. <laughs> You let the little short guy get really tall. Yeah. See, look at me. I'm just leaning on my staff, waiting. Yeah, there's, a, there's a very big hedge. You don't have to wait in line. You can just go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long hedge. Um, I like is Ook letting us know like the peril he sees? When you spotted you the mean, leg. You mean Auk? Auk. <laughs> you know the guy that's eyeballing the KFC. <laughs> I caught the. I remember the KFC joke. I don't remember if Joe said he were alerted the rest of us. Otherwise, we're just peeing in a bush. You're just peeing in a bush. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel about hanging out with these three men? I'm already hanging out. You're already hanging out. Shh. Yeah, that's the sound I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I feel bad for anybody who just uh, logged in for the first I, time. I'm just stalling till the GM gets his battle together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The I battle's actually together. Battle. It's just the tokens I hope the are not being... shift again. Yeah. Um, so, back to the top. Uh... Do, do, do. Danny, what do you want to do? Uh, Danny, uh... It's going to move again as far as I can using my... Where did I go? <laughs> uh, I'm helping him. Oh. you got to delete the tokens and then replace them to scale. Thank you. I just remembered how we fixed it last time. Five dollars. We take e-transfer. Yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yeah, everybody has that. <laughs> So, oh, okay, we're back. Thank you. No, nope, other way. Okay. Okay. The way of a bush. <laughs> Did you use a machete to chop through? Oh, are we even in the combat? Are we going through rounds or no? No. Yeah, I'm just until combat actually enters. Like I said, round robin. Um, if you've actually got something you want to do before everybody else, let me know. Okay, I'm going to move to there, okay? Okay. And have a look around, see what I can see. Go ahead, throw that perception roll out there. That's better. 22. Oh, yeah, that leg isn't sticking through the the tent flap. It ends at the tent flap. Um, there's nothing attached to it. It's just a leg. Oh. Uh, like something serrated and very sharp cut completely through it. Like that axe over there? No, more serrated. Like okay. I said, this was, this was like a, hey, this is almost like a crushing <laughs> serrated. <laughs> nice thought, but no. All right, <laughs> just throwing it out it there. Awesome. You've got a high enough perception check to know that it wasn't the axe. All right. Not a clean, not a clean. No, cut. definitely it's not. Rated. Okay, got it. Mm -mm. My next medical implement, hand it over. Okay, so I inform the others about the leg. All right, then that brings us to. Mifrit, I believe. So we're just going over here. 
And again, we're going to take a look around to see what's going on. So that would be a perception. There's what I'm after. Oh, that's terrible. What's going on? A seven. Don't mess with anything. It's working. Just leave it. All right. You're, um... You're thinking that the whatever you saw might have been that boulder off there into the corner. It's big enough. It's definitely got the right shape. Um, you don't see anything. It's up to you to do with that information what you will. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stand here and uh, keep looking around because apparently uh, I'm looking at the sky looking for birds. <laughs> So yeah, I am uh, think I'm just going to hang out and uh, see what happens. Kick some dirt around with my feet. Wave to everybody. Hi. Okay, Ak, what are you doing? All right. I will continue moving forward. Hey. <laughs> How's so, it going? <laughs> well, you know. Oh. Looking for some KFC. Mm. So I guess I can move almost right up to the last, axe. There I we go. Oh. <coughs> last time I did that, I got attacked by a squirrel. All right. There we go. Move up to the chopping block. That's why I followed you. Well, that's good. Wander off by yourself. I didn't talk to strangers. No, you just pissed off a squirrel. How am I supposed well, to know they're made with rocks? You don't really see much of anything, but then again, like I said, you are that tents that you've passed. It definitely looks like somebody, people either left here in a hurry or something bad happened here. Um, probably last night or the night before. Oh, well, I guess I can relay that to the parties. Like, I don't think anybody's around anymore. I could be wrong, but... Ooh, wait a second. I totally forgot about the lower part of this. Ah, yes. Um, but you do notice, if you go south with your map, um, down here, by the... Wagon? Wagon, these bushes, these trees, there's three bodies. Oh. Um, kind of just haphazardly thrown around. Alright. Well, if I see that, then that's what I'll <laughs> really... Bodies! Yeah, awful quiet there. Bodies to the south. Do what you want. Alright. Can we all make for uh... Doc Quack? Joey, you're practically non-existent on the mic. I don't know what you switched or... Yeah, you are really quiet, hon. Oh, I didn't switch anything, but... Just seating. Okay, try... Is that just, better? Just go into Zoom audio and see if you can't bring it up as well. Oh, okay. Make sure the audio is on. Sorry, Jared, please continue. Yeah, no problem. So, yes, he found bodies. Um, three of them haphazardly torn apart and looked around he has pointed them out to you down below and it is your turn dr quack okay so if he's calling out because i probably can't see then i will 5 10 15 20 25 off the corner 5 10 15 20 25 stride and come upon the scene and make a perception check here so i can figure out matching what i see with what they're going on about okay so coming around the bottom of the bush, upon the scene, and I see Mefred to the left or the north, on the corner of a tent, Danny, and down by the chopping block to the southeast, Mr. Ock. Am That's I correct? correct. That yes. is correct. Well, wow, we got it right. <laughs> no need to. Now my perception. Do I? 20. Okay. I was gonna say, that's what my eyes see. What does my brain perceive? Bodies that have been um, gruesomely sawed through maybe crushed through you're not really sure because you're not close enough to see but these 
limbs have been severed, Perhaps bodies cut in half. Did they um, been, were, they, were they squirreled? Uh, no, definitely. Wounds are too big for squirrels. Okay. This is definitely a large creature that did this, or something wielding a large weapon. You would have to spend more time looking at the wounds to narrow it down to what if it was creature or weapon based. It could but be it a really, really large. big squirrel. Could be a very, very big squirrel, yes. Gargantuan squirrels. Okay, stop giving him ideas. <laughs> I like that. Gargantuan, gargantuan squirrels. squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. No? Magma gargantuan squirrels. I like it. Okay. Do you want to get cuffed over the head with a staff? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, Danny. Yes, dear. What are you going to do? You've been informed there's bodies. You've been informed, I'm guessing, Dr. Quack has said, guys, something something big, big happened to you. Big and nasty? Here. Big and nasty, possibly. Okay. Um, that's great and all. Well, not really, but um, I was making my way over to the thing that doesn't really belong, and I'm guessing it's the grayed out area over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to continue going that way. We've been spinning for hours. <laughs> <laughs> She's dancing her way there. Thank yes. you, dancing. I don't know. I think that's where I can go. <laughs> there. So now you're around the inside of the tent and between two tents. Yes, I am making my way over to the gray area. Well, there's a podcast audio only aspect that we're trying to cover as well. So floating through a tent isn't really heard of. <laughs> I went around the tent. Okay. Very good. Well, again, you're not seeing much of anything. You haven't been able to look around the gray area but you are if you're sneaking i would like a stealth check oh sure one sec otherwise you're just sounding like a dwarf running through the woods gotcha. and you're I'm sounding like a dwarf right running, <laughs> running through the woods Golden braiding stealth. her hair yeah um that singing at the top of her lungs very good okay she's a good singer what did you get a nine. Okay. On the stealth tree. Just... That is a nine. Mm. It's below below a ten. Yes. And, and yes. definitely not saying, what you, you need. If you don't describe or call out numbers, the, you know we're going to lose the audio audience. They're so just going to be like, they don't, what's going on? Yes. She um she's skipping, jumping, singing to herself, and pretending to be quiet all at the same time. Um, she's she's the queen of stealth here. Totally the queen of stealth. Some big clunky <laughs> high heel shoes. Yeah, I was, All right. I was just thinking like the, the creepy Asian chick with the paper cutters from the new Mifford. car in San Diego. Oh. Your turn, sir. Well, what shall I ever do? I am going to make my way around the other side of the tent. Hey, Mifrit, where are you going? <laughs> and I'm going to end up at the top end of the two tents. Because, you know, I'm really tense. You're supposed to stay with me, yeah. Mifrit. Well, I can see you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And uh, I'm going to throw... Let's see how stealthy I can be while I'm at this. Oh, I get a 16. I am also going to throw Perception to have a look and see what's going on. Oh, which is obviously... I'm looking at the birds again. And, uh, just... No, he's not. He's chucking out my ass. Well, wow, that's probably true, but you know. Uh, and uh, while we're at it, we're going to cast the Detect Magic spell. Oh, yeah. The, the magic is coming off of the giant uh, stone beetle that is on the other side of that tent. Stone. Is everything and, made uh, of stone in this world? Not everything, no. Apparently, just this area. I'm going to so have to far. get a hammer and a freaking chisel just to do damage on these things. So, and it is gnawing on the head of somebody. Big old pincers just 
Nom, 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 nom. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Sounds like potato chips, actually. Like Pringles, um, fresh out of the can? Yes, no, no exactly. <laughs> Do you want um, me to bring the crickets he's, back? He, he's, he's kind of just like laying on a pile of bodies, just munching on some huh. bone marrow. All right. Do I have any actions left? Uh, no, that will actually be the start of combat because, you know, so if right, you really want distance? to do something. What's the distance here? How much space have we got? Is um, that this guy right here with his G is? Yes, it's, and he's a large creature, so he's taking up four squares. Four squares. So four. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So I got forty. Let's just see what we got here. No, not that one. Oh, so how about we attempt to cast a ray of frost? All right, we can do that. See if you can, uh, we're going to attempt this. If you can left or control left click to see if you automatically um, uh, designate targets uh, and see if we can cut a step out of this. Oh, so it says it's only 50 feet. Look at that. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So ray of frost. Which I get a ten. Um, so I guess I'm going to. Uh, did you try the control left click? Yes, yes. You did. It, before you did that. Okay, it, I guess it, it, didn't it didn't work. work. Very good. Or it's because we're not very good. All right. So he got a twenty nine. Um. Danny, we're going off of your stealth skill since that was the last thing you did. So your initiative is at nine. Okay. Uh, Dr. Quack, the last thing you did was a perception check, and that was going to put you pretty good in the seating arrangement. 20. Um, Mifrit, you've started this madness, and we'll go off of your attack, which was a 10. Uh, which, again, unless it's... Go is that going against reflex or anything, or is that just a regular attack? Uh, I don't think that Ray of Frost... Let's see. No, I don't... By the looks of it, it says you blast an icy ray, make a spell attack roll. The ray deals cold damage equal to 1d4 plus your spell casting ability modifier. It doesn't say anything about any protection for reflex. Okay, so it's just a regular attack for you. So that would definitely be a miss then. Um, and that would be the beginning of combat. And the the beetles like, er, you go what? Kind of like that dazed look. Like, did you really just throw an ice cube at me? Yes. Really? Yes, I did. All right. Well, you're moving around kind of lively, so uh, I guess I'm going to have to come after you. He's a very articulate bugs. Hell. Oh, you, he, well, he's a druid, so he's picking this up just like emotions, pheromones. You know, he, he can... Druidic, druidic language, right? Right? You've got that skill. Yes, You're yes, totally picking up the vibes off of this beetle. This beetle wants to play. We're, we're, we're buddies. <laughs> Except Is it not the really. last beetle? Where's John and Ringo? <laughs> Sorry. So it's going to move there, but it can't really do much because it's just like, huh, huh. So then it's going to like look around. Where, where was I charging? And then come into here and hit you with its last ability. Oh, nice. Again, I'm going to get bumped on. <laughs> I told you. Stop attacking that. No. <laughs> but he's 10 smart. feet away. <laughs> so he is going to. Oh, he can't do that because that's a two action turn. And he already took two actions. So he's just actually going to stay there and uh, kind of look at you like, I'm going to get you next turn. Just you wait. Can you I get make, that vibe, by the way. That's the vibe. That's. <laughs> he's looking at you like a dance partner right now. Like, that's. That's the vibe you're getting. All right. So next we've got Ock. Ock, you're you're hearing Come um on, the Ock. familiar cry of uh, damsel in distress. Um, 
<laughs> Ach, remember, you are the man. You did it. Lo- you did it before. Come do it again. Yeah. Save my ass. Are you a little worried there, uh, uh, there, Mefred? Nah, I'm good. I got my man is here. Yeah, that's all right. Just so, just a the typical female scream from our druid. Yeah, high pitch. <laughs> yeah, in danger. You're, you're definitely feeling the um, the champion blood start pumping in your veins. Me right. afraid I need you to scream like a little girl, or I can't get my combat on. <laughs> That's what I'm... You're a weird yeah, champion, much. little dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if it works for you. I don't know. Well, he has the uh, what? What's that thing he's got? He's got the squirrel slayer now. Yeah, the squirrel slayer. All right, stride two. Sorry, I have to reposition my map here. Can't see. Just throw it. No, wait. Don't do that. Hold on to it. I'll give you something to throw if you like. Javelin there. dagger. Oh, and I know this is going to be confusing, but remember this thing is large, so it's taking up four squares. Yeah. Technically, so That's, it should be there. So do you want to resize it? I was trying to earlier. That's what messed up the whole scaling thing. You think oh. you can talk me through it real quick? Because it's not giving me the uh, options that I'm used re- to. It should be release individual as opposed to release all, but that's fine. We'll just say those are the jaws. Right. The maw. So. Yeah, all I'm getting is release token scale and then token lock tokens. I'm not getting individual. Okay. I did my movement. I am. All righty. So you're coming to save my ass? Yep, I am here. Hey, yay. I'm safe. Mm-hmm. Woohoo. So is that your full turn then? Yeah, that's my full. That's my three what? actions. What? Um, okay, so that is all three of your actions. Whoa. Yeah. What is that? That's a G. I don't I'm helping. know what. I'm building a oh. bug. There, now I'm Oh, bigger. I get you. That's my head. G, that's a big bug. It's gargantuan. Eh? Get it? Yes. No? <laughs> that works. Hold on. Let me <laughs> see if I can. You can I do it, anything right? with it? Hmm, interesting. Well, yeah, yeah. Ah, reset individual yeah, token scale. I can now. That's. He made it smaller. Yeah, that's weird. Stop helping. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping. I am. I'm God. I am helping. Uh huh. Hey, stand in line. Good enough. <laughs> so, all right, that brings us to. Dr. Quack. Hello. You are... You you definitely picked up the sounds of screaming. Okay. I want to move to the bodies. Okay. What? 5, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25, 5, 10, 15, 20. And medicine check, time of death. I want to make sure that these are what killed it, not just scavengers that come later. And the real problem is still around. I'm sorry, this isn't problem enough okay. for you. Um, you all I got want mad when a I last time with my blowgun, so I'm doing my job. I didn't get mad. I'm gonna... I either want a lore check from you. I'm gonna be in a stick later. In I guess. Uh, do you have any lore that would help you I in this medicine, specifically? Dead people medicine medicine. Dead people of the medicine of the time of death medicine medicine. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying lore. It's not going to be medicine because it's going to be lore. You're not trying to Is heal he somebody. Famous? You're. I'm trying to determine forensically the time of death. Correct. So it's a lore check. What? Wouldn't that be a lore check then? You're you're trying. You're using knowledge to actually I'm using determine medicine, information. Medicine information to determine. Things, okay. So. All right. No. Okay. If you if that's it's, what it's I'll, I'll, I'll go with I'm it. I'm just trying to wrap my head around where you're going with this. Like historically, is it, is this a famous leg? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm right. saying that medicine is great for patching up wounds. Medicine yeah. has nothing to do with actually figuring like out the coroner learned history yes. instead of that medicine. would be a lore skill. That's well, how I'm I'm picturing it. Okay. Would be lore your... underworld, dead people. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with it. You've you've been called up for enough times to patch up dead bodies. Sure. Hey, good. I'm better um, at the under, underworld lore than I am at medicine. <laughs> okay. So, with that, you've spent your time um, at a quick glance, since this is technically six seconds. At a glance, you are picking up at least seven different types of wounds here. 
you're not sure if all of them are to the same injury, but there's definitely seven different types of wounds here in this one leg. Okay. Um, it will take more time to narrow down which whether or not the wounds on the leg are from um, occupational hazard or if it's from the actual trauma of getting his leg cut off. That's going to take more time. Hmm. Okay. No, I was just looking for something obvious. Okay. Um, oh, with me. that, Mifrit. This thing has definitely got is coming at you. You. You can definitely tell that. It's all you first. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go for a wild morph. And grow mm -hmm. myself some big claw hands. Didn't you go before the battle? No. <laughs> a wild morph? <clears throat> yes, I want to cast a wild morph spell. Okay. And that is two actions or three actions for that? Well... You like that? Looks like it's a two action. A two action. Okay, so that still leaves you with one action unless you're heightening. Can you heighten that spell at all? Or modify it? Does it allow you to no, add I can't a heighten component? Until, I can't height, heighten until sixth level. Okay, I wasn't sure because some spells have the ability to use like the semantic component or add a component to the spell to make it better uh, without heightening it. Um, so I wasn't sure. Very well. Very good. So what are you going to do with your last action? I am going to take a swipe at this thing and attempt for a 1d6 damage. Slashing damage. What are you using? I have wild. I've wild morphed, so now that He's I have, I have hands that are oh. in wild claws, oh. and these claws are an unarmed attack. Okay. And I will deal a one d six slashing damage each, and in brackets it says agile and finesse. Gotcha. And it, cool. Have so that it. means you can use your dexterity. Okay. Bonus for attack. All right, so I can just go. Okay, so what do I need to? Well, there's a three damage. Well, the problem is, is this thing's got a ten foot reach. So if you're going to get inside of its attack range, which is moving forward, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be within its attack range on its turn. Um, but you'll be able to. Uh, That's all right. I'll go for it. So we're gonna right. so we're gonna take a step a little closer. Yep. Okay. So we're within five feet. I guess I need to yep. get a little closer. Five, or is five feet close enough? You're good. All right. So I will take my slashing attack. All right. Let me put you on the attack then. Drop you on the character. All right. There we go. Let's let's give this sucker a shot. All right. So what do I need to do? Um, your claw attack, right? Yes. So you're going to do a on your character sheet. Let me pull your character sheet up. Uh, well, we rolled the damage for a one d for a one d six. I maybe jumped the gun. Okay. So we have a three. Do you need any other rolls from? Does me? it call for? Does it treat it as a normal attack action? Or yes. is this automatic damage? No, it says these claws are an unarmed attack. You're you're trained in and deal one d six slash slashing damage each okay so you're going to have to roll the hit and add your dexterity modifier so for it you should have on your let me look here actions um yep i'm on actions it's going to basically be the same thing as your daggers except your damage is going to be the d6 uh, because your daggers are both uh, finesse agile weapons. So you can use your dagger rolls, and I'll just put a note to add uh, these in as an attack for you. 
Okay, so for next we'll time. just grab the first. Oops. Nope, yep. Wrong grab way. the die off of there. Yep, there we go. And you should be able to roll that to hit. That does not look like. That doesn't look right. Because this is going to give me a really big die. Yeah, you need to roll over. Yeah, d20. Yeah, okay. So, 18. And that's a miss. <laughs> oh my. Wow. Run away. Uh, can I run? <laughs> uh, no, you use yeah, all your I'm turns. Done. Remember, you 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 moved. <sighs> We're gonna go for it. Uh, up to make the attack. So you've you've uh, used all your uh, turns. He's our man. If he can't do it, <laughs> nobody can. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So. <laughs> wow. Let us go to. Or yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Ock. You want Ock? You know what you gotta do. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like, <laughs> looks at you and looks at its, its scaly, its stony hide. Kind of like, really, bud, you, you, you really, okay. And now it's, uh, Danny's turn. <laughs> yes, Danny's turn. I pick up the axe. <laughs> okay. Um, in doing so, you realize the axe definitely has some corrosion on it. Um, it is considered a broken weapon. Aw, oh, man. Why do people take care of their stuff? What's wrong with people? It almost kind of looks like it's been hit with acid. Oh. It's kind of puckery and, you know, well, divoted and it, I don't even, you don't even need to make a perception check to realize okay, that like well, one good swing with this thing, it's going to break. Never mind. What are you doing down there? You left me all by myself. Hey, you're the one <laughs> who went and kissed it. Everybody else is what? doing something else and you, you decided to attack the, the one bug. The and... happy pre-fed bug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was, Way to be a druid. Ball? Let's and poke the object. <laughs> well, All right. Uh, so, Danny, what else? Are you doing anything else? That was a pickup action. That was a uh, move action. So you've got one more action. Uh, help. You can you can help. ready an action to run away. You can do that. I can't <laughs> move. All of a well, I'm doing that. <laughs> Whatever's going to save I'll my move skin. Here. Okay. What is that? How's that going to help me? Giant help stone me beetle. That is now pissed off because you've attacked it twice. Unprovoked, by the way. Um, uh, so now it's lunging at you with its mandibles open. How, how big is this thing like compared to us? It's, it's a large creature. Like four squares or yes. like even Yes, bigger? it's it's... It's four squares. So, like, when this thing comes at you, it's it's pretty intimidating. Like, yeah, yeah. It's it. Like yeah, I said, it's like um, it's like a baby dinosaur. It's just kind of like <laughs> lunging at you. Oh, look at the baby dinosaur! Oh, he's playing with me, friend. Not baby shark, <laughs> baby dinosaur. It's much bigger. <laughs> unless we're talking about Jaws or another form of megalodon. <laughs> so, hey. do you want to come and help? You, unless it's a nopladon, you're okay. <laughs> Noposaurus, man. Nope, Noposaurus. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't even know what that is, so you guys got one up on me. All right. So it's going, it's lunging at you with its mandibles wide open. Um, This might hurt a bit. Are you going to kill me? A bit. Oh. <laughs> Mommy. That's a critical. Oh, on damage. Boy. All right. Well, one, um, one second. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be going over <laughs> some rules we're very familiar with with this character. Oh, oh. that was a lot of dice. That um, so for those of you listening at home, um, Malfred just got hit with a twenty-eight against his AC, which was a critical because it was over ten. Oh, I have a crit deck. AC. Was that a and then, that you got? No. Th th no. thanks for letting me play, guys. <laughs> um, Can somebody resurrect me? Uh, so You're then the, the, the mandibles come in shearing Malfred 
basically in half. Uh, he just took 34 points of damage from a critical, uh, from a Not neutral enough. animal that he attacked twice as a druid. Um, later on in druid classes, we will be discussing uh, the mishaps of Mephlert and nature's friends. Okay. Uh, question for the DM. Yes. My Pathfinder 2nd Edition crit deck finally came in. Okay. Hands on using it. I mean, if you really want to. Um... Well, there's two rules. The regular rule is it has to be a natural 20 to use the deck. And okay. creatures can only use it if they have your hit dice are greater. But then there's a variant rule where a player can draw um, on any kind of critical hit. But then again, monsters, you know, don't, don't necessarily. Uh... So we're going with the named rule, basically? I'm, I'm asking. What do you guys want to do? Um, I normally go with the name rule. Uh, name it's not a named to, creature. As, as opposed to the variant rule. Uh, opposed to the variant rule, so uh, yeah. even though this creature is... They got rid of the name rule. <laughs> um, I, 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 I get rule. that. So yeah. um, You're going to instate it? You are the GM. That's fine. Yeah, no, I, I'd rather go with that because otherwise we could be here all night with, you know, pulling... You guys, if you roll a critical and you want to do that, you're more than welcome to, but you need to let me know ahead of time. Um, like when you roll, like, hey, I, if I make a critical at all during this combat today... Uh, I'm roll. I'm pulling from the the critical deck, or yep. I'm not. Yeah, and then we'll just always, always every twenty crit 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 crit. Okay, I then that's fine with you. Cards, I'm not going to do it for the monsters them. unless it's an important monster. I pay good money for this deck, man. I will use it. I know you do. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe you can use it to to resurrect a body. Um, you so you've got dying one. Uh, so on your turn, uh, you're going to have to make a saving throw of DC ten, I believe. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're... Um, Basically, is... what you're saying is I am shredded from head to toe and I have body parts spilling out of myself all over the ground. Well, perhaps the Basically. will grant me a bonus since I examined a body that was so injured in the after effects. Yes, basically. Um, uh, how much damage did he take? 34. Uh, 34 damage. I take it that's... A lot compared to your hit points. Uh, I have 17 hit points. Okay. So that is um, virtually um, <clears throat> double. All right. Well, because me Because being... it does massive damage now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Join Ejin on the mic, man. I cannot hear you at all. Oh, there you go. My zoom's right maxed out, so. Uh, for I have the. For my champion, I am a liberator. I have the liberating step. So any ally that takes damage or gets grappled within 15 feet of me, which is Meaford. Correct. Uh, they gain a resistance to all damage equal to two plus my level. So he gets a damage reduction of three. And if he's grappled or something, he gets to break free, but that's not happening. <laughs> so uh, so I, I got, you're saying he, he would take 31 points <laughs> of damage job. instead of 34. So essentially, <laughs> essentially, I have been sliced, diced, and shredded. Yeah. Uh, and I do know normally this would uh, automatically, oh. I think, kill your character, but we're not going to do that. I don't like doing that. I'd like to give you the option, no, the doesn't. opportunity to um, keep your character around, or at least until it, you fail three times. It doesn't, does it? I thought we were to establish that. Um, no, no matter what happens to you, you just die in condition one. Yep. Yeah, at least it's death from massive damage. Oh, yeah, but then that'd be 50 points? Uh, that's just, uh, what was it again? I think it was like double your con or something. It's double your health, I believe, double your plus health, yeah. character level. So, which, <laughs> that's getting pretty close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, that was its turn, <laughs> Ak. All right. Um, you, what would you like to do? I, you can do a perception check. Um, you're not the nature person, but you could do a perception check. I would allow that um, <laughs> to try to get a, a, a feel. Well, maybe not a perception then. Do a nature check if you if you at least want to attempt it to uh, get the feel for this creature. <laughs> creature bad. <laughs> it probably was until I beat on it. Yeah. Twice. <coughs> cough, cough. <coughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
There you go, Ted. Okay, um, that's enough to actually let you know that it seems content now. Like, if it was a dog, it looks like it found its favorite chew toy. As in a Mifrid or as in the, the bone it was chewing on? Uh, no, as in <laughs> as in Mifrid. Like, it, it looks like it's content now. Like, it's kind of, like, settled down. It's not really pissed off anymore. It's okay. just kind of like, hmm, all right, hmm, this is interesting. This is a new flavor. Hmm, yeah. All right, then. Huh. Well, I... <laughs> It's woodland spice. <laughs> <laughs> is that a hint of smoky oh, is something, is this, you know, hazelnut? Oh, there be the waters over. What have you got? What have you got there, Ike? Well, I think I, I've got something. This is brand new. You got to try this. Hmm. This has an earthy smell. And smell. Uh, so, what would you like to do, Ock? Uh, well, that's a good question. I guess I will. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? <laughs> Sure, let's attack the fuck. Let's attack the thing. Stride and attack. Why not? Look at me. Look at me go. Let's see. Let's see what happens. With an 18, does that hit? Oh, hold on a second. I didn't quite have you there. Go ahead and, uh. Um... I think an 18 in? misses because Meaford's 18 misses. Yeah, it did. Um, there we go. It was giving me a weird error number, but now I got it fixed. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that would have missed anyhow. Um, and my last action, I will swing again. And I definitely miss. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a, a miss. critical miss. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, though. It doesn't have anything for that. <laughs> but you've attacked it twice, and it's now noticed you and definitely you, kind of rotates its head. You joys of critical fumbles? Oh! Um, you do have that deck, world, too, don't you? Is, no, I don't have that deck, but I have the old one. Um, well, if we're using the critical confirmation deck, uh, if you've got it handy, go ahead. All right. So Let's add some of, flavor kind of, to this spice. Kind of, you got a melee, right? Yes. It was slashing melee, I believe. Slashing melee. So there's no way. Your attack hits the target, but deals minimum damage. That's on a critical miss? Yep. Awesome. Minimum <laughs> damage. All right. So that's your strength uh, plus one. Five. So five damage. <laughs> That's going to be that, the most Beetle. generous fail. I've been, like, <laughs> even the other ones in the same card like, you bleed out. Two con damage. You are stunned. It's like, melee, no way. Your attack does hit the target, but deals minimal damage. Oh. All right. Um, I like yeah, it. it definitely fully turns to you, like, head-wise. So, Dr. Quack. Yep. Your turn, sir. You're, um, the girlish screaming you heard earlier went up an octave. Okay. And uh, then it kind of like went silent. 15, 20, 25, um, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm 25, dying. 2. Okay, I try to get to him in two strides. Yeah, you do it. If the bug Very is, good. If the bug is distracted. Oh, it definitely, you can, it's kind of like slowly turning its way towards Ock. You can definitely see that. Okay. Um, if it's really intent, I'm going to draw um, a lesser one of my lesser elixirs and you know catch okay a, catch, catch a bottle force feed um if i think this thing is just gonna like you know turn around and go to town then i'll just grab me frit and start pulling him away um that that i will let you do a, a medical check on because that is kind of like you're trying to save a life so go ahead and make a medical check um and to, depending to, on how to guess well bug, you do to guess what the what? bug would do yeah, kind of like how how bad off is Mifrit? Like, well, do you can my, you can my, you move him? My worry is um, starting to do anything medical and getting attacked. Okay, um, then just do a perception check. Okay. I mean, it's a shame we got to waste my last action, but I want to be sure I can work on him, as opposed to just grab him. You know, twenty-four. Um, your brain is like doing like super calculations you see blood on the ground you're like all right we can yeah i got this all right uh-huh you by the 
the staggering gait of the the beetle as it slowly kind of like reorients itself you know that it's full attention is probably on Ock. you could so long as you didn't do anything to a to get its attention you're probably going to be fine that's cool that's cool i like that description too that's very cool the slow lumbering turn gotcha awesome so i'm here i'm burnt on my actions i will try to start uh, you know go through my gear and uh, see if i can help them out next round all right memphret you are dying um i need a stabilization check from you good sir that is just a regular roll um and you need to get a 10 or better uh stabilization check from where from you just it's a regular roll nothing special nothing gets added you need a 10 or better okay on d20 d20 yep on a d20 on a d100 I wish. <laughs> all the chances oh isn't that, that was a d10 that was or d10. 12 that was definitely not a d100 or d20 you <laughs> Oh, good. There that's you my, go. You stabilize. Stabilize. Well, I'm in the. I'm so I'm stabilized. I'm not dying. Exactly. Then we're going. To you move. are not dying. You've gone up the condition tracker, I believe. So you've gone could you from. Just dump all your hero points to save your life. You could. Yeah, it would get so you to have, one health. I should actually have two hero points. One from last week and one from today. They don't stack. They. They don't stack. Okay, so I have one, so I am going to use my hero point. Uh, I think they do. Do they oh, stack? I thought they, I you got them back did. at the I beginning of every give you an extra game. One. I, if they don't, I'm going to kill my Friday crew, for starters. <laughs> Actually, I, th I think they do stack into a total of two but, maximum the, of three. But the but. problem is, Jared, the standard session is four hours, and we do two max. So you might want to go every other. Otherwise, like the three-person, three hero point right, person is you. getting six. So re Re For right now, we're just going to say you spend one, The mm -hmm. whether or not you have an additional one. It, but you wouldn't have... I'm going to say that you don't do it because, in all honesty, you didn't need to. You just stabilized. If you still want to, to bring yourself up to one hit point afterwards. Because yeah. um, really, uh, you you kind of had to announce that before you made the roll. Okay, fair um, enough. So if I'm stabilized, I'm going to leave it alone. Now, I still have some actions left, correct? No, because that nope. was your full round action That'd to save a You're unconscious, still, is he? Yeah, he's still unconscious. Yeah, he's just not dying. Your bo um, your bones he's knit. got the wounded <laughs> one condition, I believe. He's, he's breathing. Don't pull on that scab. <laughs> um, until he gets either fully healed, or you guys take a full day of rest, he's got the wounded one condition. Okay. Cool. And I believe I just added that to his character sheet. There we Excellent. go. Excellent. You know, that's pretty neat. So I will lie there moaning in pain. Yes. Yes, oh, you will. Oh, jeez. Even unconscious is annoying. Boot. <laughs> no All right, idea. Danny. You have no idea. Yes. Yes. Your turn. Um, you've just realized um, it got quieter over there. And ah. you definitely heard like a loud thump and a high-pitched scream and then it went like really quiet so what do you want to do um one sec okay i still can't see it no the tent would be in the way i believe yeah does anyone speak emoji <laughs> <laughs> um with wither king is in our chat and is speaking in you know juridic sylvan interpretive huh. dance with emojis okay, and I, so I'm, I'm gonna move how do we get in the here. chat dave or dave uh, i'll put it up yeah. here what was that i'm moving to here yeah and then next round i'm gonna pull out my bow and shoot providing i can see it um you well if you did you Move I used my three whole turns. three turns to get here. To get to there. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Because you... And you don't have quick draw. Correct. Okay. All right, that brings us back to the giant Snowden beetle who actually took five damage. <laughs> from Ock and... Take that! <laughs> it isn't fully, like, looking at you. But it kind of like takes one of its little spindly legs and kind of like tries to stomp on you. Um, 
with one of its legs kind of piercing you to the ground with its foot. Um, so it wields back with one of its feet, one of its legs, spindly legs, and that was a horrible. Why did it go all the way over there? Let's try that again. What is going on here? There's the rope. There we go. All right. Oh, at least it's just a hit. And it hits you with its foot. And you take 13 bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> no like <Wow>. beetle. <laughs> All right, Ock. It feel is your the, turn. Feel the wrath. I swing. Swing a swing a with the good old dog slicer. So they grab my dice. It's not looking good. All right. You are still lined up, so you're good. 16. And that's a big miss. All right. And that's a critical one. miss. <laughs> um, oh, critical miss deck, nine, nine. please, sir. Go ahead and draw him one. Slashing oh, weapons. Oh, <laughs> Jeff's out of the room? Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, um, make a reflex them. save. See if you hold on to your weapon as it rebounds okay. off of its scaly hide. Oh. You need a... Let's go simple. You're a fighter. You're used to combat. You need at least a 10. So, yeah, there you go. 12. All so, right. you managed to hold on to your weapon. Sweet. Can I take my last action? Um. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you retain your weapon. You're a combat-oriented person. And 11. you make another critical miss. Hmm. Woot. Um, go ahead. Make it. Make another reflex save. Let's just say you've wielded back around and as you come around to try to chop at its legs it kind of just deflects it Natural definitely deflects 20. but you're you're still on your feet you know you're like combat warrior ninja style ready to go and you're just like you're totally ready to take this thing down you're you're all warmed up now yeah. you're bleeding profusely and you're ready to go bring it on all right dr quack is he in the room yes yes he is, he is. all yep. right it is your turn, sir. Right. Um, so I start with a couple of formulas in my book, two out of the three, and one of them is the Elixir, Elixir of Life. Yes, sir. How fast can I whip together a formula? Um, you've got the quick formula class ability. Did you take that? Um, Do you know in your ability? Quick section? alchemy? Yes, quick alchemy. One batch of infused regents with one action. Okay, then Formation. I believe... Um, Swiftly mix up a short-lived alchemy item to use at a moment's notice. You create a single alchemical item of your advanced alchemy level or lower. That is your formula book without having to spend normal monetary cost. Blah, blah, blah. This item so what is it called again? Infused trait, but remains potent only till the start of my next turn. Oh, le Lesser Elixir of Life. Um, I don't see items in this. Elixir, Elixir of Life, Lesser? Yep. All right. I can drop this in your character sheet after this. That way it's already there if you don't already have it. It's an. Uh, it's definitely alchemical... Um, Held in one hand, it's an uh, it's an interact. That's all you need. So if you can make it in one turn, and uh, that basically means that you can use it in one turn. Well, do I have to pull out my kit as an action, then use it, like whip it up as a second, and then apply it as a third? Is that how it goes? No, basically how I'm understanding it, unless you're trying to craft this stuff on your downtime, basically quick alchemy basically just means that you're quickly rummaging through your side pouches putting together stuff so that takes that's a that's an action right that's what it says quick alchemy is an action yeah it's like mixing um, i just thought i had to take um, anyway it's not so like i'm gonna do anything else this turn so 
Hover so yeah. Go, yeah. Okay. So so it will restores three d six plus six hit points, uh, and the bonus is plus one. So. Um, sorry, plus six or plus one? Plus one. Uh, the bonus is. Plus I'm just one. reading what it says here. I'll drop it in your character sheet so you can actually look at it also later. But it's it's three d six plus six hit points, and the bonus is plus one. So I'm guessing if you were trying to apply this as an attack, it would be, you know, Oh, I see, like whatever. plus one hit. Okay. So 15 health for our referent. Yep. Get this down okay. into you, big lug. Just ladle it into his lips, you know, out of my little... Uh... All right. Yakko's Miracle oh. Elixir. Great man, Yakko. Learned a lot from him. That will be five silver, please. <laughs> oh, I'll just rummage through his pockets for loose change and pay myself. <coughs> Why isn't it letting me mess around with this? I oh, can see on my sheet later. Fifteen points Thank you. to the. All right, so effort. it would be. So you would have three wounds still. If I'm doing that math correctly. Get up, yes. you're embarrassing me. Sorry. I, I'm i used to just doing it the opposite way around. Not you, um, him. <laughs> Get oh. up, you big oaf, you're embarrassing me. Oh, okay, good. I was about ready to have to smite you with a lightning bolt. I didn't say keep up, GM, you're embarrassing me. I said get up, you <laughs> freaking boots, boots. You're embarrassing me. All right. Me. So, Mifrit, um... It is your turn. You're realizing that your innards are went back from being in. your outards to being back in your innards. <laughs> um, you're you're healed up pretty good, but you still feel like you should have like a nice pink scar running across your stomach. Um, you're not at full health, but you're pretty damn close. Uh, and you're prone. Yep. Excellent. Zip. You're welcome. So, what would you like to do? Okay. That. What? I was just zipping up my pouch. Oh, my still on my backpack. You're welcome. <laughs> it says that oh, under my nature wisdom skill, <clears throat> that I should be able to attempt to command an animal. Yes. I'm going to try that. All right. Let me pull up the skill. There's, just so. Is a bug not a bug? It's vermin. Yeah. Is it classified as an animal? An insect. Beast, fly, and plant. Animal, plant, command, an animal. Uh, Let me, uh, currently, he's probably rather hostile, right? <laughs> um, not to you, because his attention is directed at Ak. He is very—he's a very focused individual. Um, you're completely out of his mind right now. Okay, perfect. Uh, then I am definitely going to go uh, ahead and attempt this. Mm, okay, I'm going to say since he is in combat and has been attacked or attempted to been attacked and he's still kind of being aggressive towards somebody, let's go with a DC 18 on your nature check, please, sir, to get its attention and to cease its hostility. Okay, so on my nature, please give me something good. I get a 20. There you go. You're like whispering in its ears canal and putting off pheromones and doing all the druid kind of actions that you need to do to, to get it um, down a grade. So it has dropped from hostile to, uh, I think it's hesitant or neutral. Is it possible that I can uh, have Unfriendly. Um... Is it possible in the same process that I can have him stride away a few paces? Uh, no, that's going to be a whole nother turn of okay, command very well. animal. Very well. Um, uh, but it does say it's a single action. You are trained in it, right? Or are you an expert since you're a druid? Uh, give me one second and let me actually hear. I am trained. Uh, in that case, let's just... Yeah, you can, you can try to get it to move away to back up to whatever 
Okay, I'd like to see if I can get it destroyed, uh, you know, uh, as many paces as I can get it destroyed away. See if it will release from combat. And what would you need? Um, for that? That's going to take both of your actions left then. Just do a single stride. That's fine. Okay, go ahead, roll again, nature check. 19. So you Very call, good. Call it, you like um, dog? Basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we uh, so, yeah. All right. On its turn, it's going to disengage and back up a stride. Danny. Um, uh, Mefred, are you going to announce that's what you're doing yes, before you I did it? I, I think... Yes. Uh, okay. While it's striding away, I'm going to make some kind of motion to everybody to back off. I've got it calmed down. All right. That's fine. I'm still going to pull my bow out. And I'm just going to move over here. And I will hold, and like if if it decides that it's going to attack again, then I will shoot. Okay. All right, that brings us to the giant beetle. It is going to back up to here. Single stride, and it sits on its haunches and seems to be waiting. Look, I figured it out. All it's right. a sea dragon. Ock. Fair enough. The chat. It's it's disengaged. Almost. They oh. use they use the emojis, emojis to make a wing sea dragon. Ooh. Took me a while. Cool. Yeah. So I'll just ready in action, and I will. <laughs> pokey pokey slicey slicey if it decides to come back okay um dr quack how's the patient uh he's missing three health points uh otherwise he seems to be all right considering from a prone position he was um directing a right. giant can, can stone you, can you beetle stand? we need to get out of here or get some distance i help him up Okay. Help him up and, you know, we should... Brush uh, him down, check his wounds. Yeah, and totally pick his pockets while I'm doing it. Like, I'm looking like I care, <laughs> but I won't get paid. All right, I'll give you a plus 10 on your thievery check since he just had a mortal wound and he's and kind he's of dazed and confused. And something else. Exactly. This is Go how ahead. it's done, Danny. Pay attention, class. Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> Extortion. <laughs> I shoot All right, him. Mifre. I never see it coming. Oh, I guess I should have said that out loud. Um, your oh. turn. What? Seven. Ooh. What the hell is this? <laughs> ha! Bite me. You feel a hand on your ass, Mithrit. Um, cough. It's me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> squeezing a little, I a little bit. Covered up. <clears throat> I'm just gonna nonchalantly look over my shoulder and go, "Excuse me." <laughs> I just roll my eyebrows at him. Sorry, I thought you were Danny. <laughs> hey, hey, big guy. Hang up. Roll my eyebrows, paid in full. Thank you. Don't touch me. <laughs> hey, there's a tent right over there, I'm just saying. Just knock yourself out all by your lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I go to the tent and search for stuff. With permission from me for the man. So Mifrit, what do you would you like to do? Well, this uh, creature of ours seems to have settled down, correct? It it has gone from um, uh, un it's at unfriendly right now. It's um. at it's at unfriendly. So <laughs> since it's rather large and we seem to do have calming down, I am actually going to cast a healing spell towards it. Okay, towards it. Yes, because we seem okay. to have backed it off. It seems to be calming down. I may have jumped the gun. Let's see if we All can right. keep roll it. Your, in, roll your roll your heal check there, but or roll your spell health damage it's not really damage but you know what I mean um, very good it's it's 
its outer chitin seems to, to to be healing up quite nice. It's got a shine to it now. Shiny. As long as you don't give it its appetite back. Um. So yeah, uh, that was two turns. So oh, you've yeah. got one left. Are you going to try to uh, maintain your control over it? Yes, I'm going to continue with attempting to maintain the control. That All right, roll, idea. roll me a huh. DC a 16. You need a pardon me. Yeah, nature, yeah. nature DC 16, please. Thank you. Fast forward tomorrow, where we have Minotaur 24. versus Beetle races. Very good. It is down to neutral. It is kind of like, all right. Looks like it's getting ready to take a nap. Perfect. It's exerted itself an awful lot. <sighs> Slices me in half. I put it back together. All Make right. Sure um, unless together. any of you wish to attack it, I'm going to say combat ends here. And you can kind of run around and do stuff so long as um mifrit maintains his uh control yes nobody bug the bug <laughs> exactly <laughs> i'll stick with the bug bad idea guys go check it out well that's all the time all we right. have for for the first set yeah find out what happened in the camp next time Take a short break for the live stream. Otherwise, we will see you next time in the audio portion here at Simply Second Edition, where you can get by with a little groping. Just saying. <laughs> oh, do you feel left out? You should sit over here next time. <laughs> or, or I'll sit over there and you two sit over here. <laughs> we got friendly last time. 